What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Uh, so we are trying out the new Lord of the Rings Heroes of Middle Earth. I was excited for this game and then I did a one hour live stream, which I, by the way, I, I removed. Uh, there was an issue with it, so I have to re-upload it just during, during this video. Uh, and I have to say I'm very, very disappointed. Um, here's a problem, right? With gotcha games, you have to have an instant grab to your audience right away. The problem here is it's pretty much a script to script wall to wall copy of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes which is also an EA game uh, graphically it's dated similar even though the other one is about six years old it looks exactly the same so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the video that I did at least I, I edited some of it so you guys can see some of the fights the gameplay etc but this is probably not one that I'm going to be covering also just so you're aware blue stacks is too dark LD player has these glitches, uh, so mobile looks the best. So if you plan to play it, play it on mobile. But unfortunately, when it comes down to emulators, none of them do a really good job of actually portraying the game for its full vibrance of color. Uh, Storyline-wise, it's pretty pathetic for a Tolkien story because it's not written well at all, which is kind of a problem. So overall, this game is going to be a no-go. But tomorrow, I'm going to cover a new game called Last Ultima that's coming out, which I was actually... Uh, pre-registered for some time it's already out now and it's just sitting in maintenance uh, for their servers so um i'll be doing that tomorrow at least but this is going to unfortunately be a pass but if you are interested i'm going to do some of the gameplay in the video for you guys to kind of watch and you guys can determine if you want to keep playing it or not on your own all right guys this is pain i'll talk to you guys in the next one the intro to the game you start off a weather top just like in the movies you're fighting the black beast uh, Ravenous Gloom, and it's very similar setup to the Lord of the Rings books and movies. Uh, there is a combo right there done by the Wraiths. But there is a little bit of a difference here now. So when you start doing this story, there is another character involved that seems to be a unique character that's original into the game and has been added specifically that, hey, what's going on, Kai? Or Kai, I should say. <laughs> um, so this is what I'm talking about right here. Like, this doesn't happen in the stories. Obviously, this is a new character. I'm assuming introduced as the original storyline for you and your main character being the the wielder of the new ring of power. And this is this is obviously the ring of power right there, okay? So that's very pretty straightforward intro. It's like it's a quick one, right? Okay, yeah, oh yeah, the screen looks way better now. Okay, let's go in here. So only you and your ring of power can mend these rifts in time and restore Middle Earth. Okay, so it is a rift in time. It's pretty much Shades of these heroes are like memories, fragments of Middle Earth that can draw together with the power of your ring. With enough shards, a hero can be pulled through. Okay, so it is a different time uh, spectrum. So we are pulling in characters from different times, time, time warps, I guess, into our world to bring back the the rifts together. So that's that's the story behind this. So it is an original story. No, it is. Try refreshing it. Um, it actually just dropped. It was a little bit late. It should be ready. Because I went on the main Discord and everybody says it's out globally now. So you can definitely play now. Just refresh it. I actually had to uh, un unregister and re-register and then it install for me. So try that. Okay, let's see. Summoning Strider. Okay. And then we're going to bring Frodo forward as well. A lot of people don't like the design of the characters and stuff. I actually don't mind it because it does remind me of the books. Like it really does. Okay, let's hopefully see if I can change the settings after this to improve the graphics. Now, I don't know how the volume is for you guys. I'm going to put the volume maybe up a little more. Can you guys hear the game volume at all? There, I'll put it up a little more. Okay, I'm going to go through the tutorial here, guys. We're going to change the graphics later. I'm positive I can. Orcs, they're from Mordor, what brought them here. Keep close, get your weapons ready. Sorry, I'm going to close a few things down here, guys, just to not have my PC crap out on me. Uh, make sure everything else is good. Yeah, it's a little laggy. I wonder if that's me turning it to 150, 120 FPS. Yeah, it definitely does remind me of the, of the Hobbit books, for sure. Yeah, graphically, I think it's the essence they're trying to capture, quite honestly. All right, so we have some orcs here, guys. 
So let's take a quick look here. We're gonna, I guess, do this battle ourselves. So Darting Dagger attacks the enemy for 100% damage. Uh, what does this do? There's still hope. This is the passive leader skill. Whenever Strider crits, grant stealth for one turn to the most wounded Hobbit ally that doesn't already have stealth. Okay, so he definitely helps Hobbits out, so that's good. Courageous Spirit. Attack the enemy for 110 damage. If Sam is an ally, attack again for... A okay, so Sam is not an ally. So we're going to go ahead and do just a regular, regular attack for now. I think it's out globally. I don't think it's region-based anymore. Nice. Nice crit. Nice crit. Okay. So light campaign. Tom Tom Bombadil will not be in this game because nobody knows who Tom Bombadil is. <laughs> it's a good question, William. Uh, what's going on, Draka? Yeah, this is uh, this has been an exciting time for sure. We must hurry to Rivendale. Lord Elrond uh, must hear what happened to Lady Arwen. I'll do my best to keep up. So we're now adding in Eowyn into, yeah, I guess right there. Sure. How do you move her over? Oh, you can't move her. Okay, so it is actually based on one, two, three. Okay, got it. Let's just go ready. Yeah, nobody knows who damn Tom, Tom Bombadil is. There's a lot of theories, though, who Tom Bombadil is. Uh, the fact that he can't be influenced by the One Ring, uh, it's it's the emulator. Emulator looks like like absolute garbage, unfortunately. So I'm gonna try to fix that next time I play, guys. Uh, for some reason, Blue Stacks had um, get ground once you're in the mana mala. Okay, so let's do that. Let's try it. For some reason, uh, Blue Stacks had um, had it really dark. So I'm gonna look into that as well and see why the heck it looks the way it did, but. It was actually crisper than this. For some reason, this looks way worse, but it's way brighter. So we're going to take a look and see what's going on with that. Okay. Oh, there's Arwen right there. You are not yourself, Arwen. Fight against the darkness. I am one with the darkness, as, as you shall soon be. Okay, so we if you're just joining now... Uh, for some reason, some entity we don't know about, its original character in the game, has taken over Arwen. And she is uh, trying to stop, uh, trying to take, trying to kill Frodo and, and Strider, essentially. Well, that was that was easy. That was a lot. I thought it'd be a lot harder than that. I guess we're level eighty six or something now. Okay. I go to the store. Uh, just for me, guys. Just for you. No, thank you. Um, chest here, this one guarantees a character, which is good. Who'd I get? Who'd I get? Who'd I get? Oh, oh, he's actually like one of the top tier characters. So this is a bonus. Now the question is, can I use him in my? Light team, I don't think so. Oh, he's... No wonder he's the top tier character. 15 out of 180. Oh my gosh. That's going to take a while to get. Yeah, he's apparently like one of the best characters in the game. Well, that's going to take a while for sure. Okay, well, let's get her, let's get her, love, uh, her equipment on. Go to tier 2. Okay. I was so excited for a second. I was so excited for a second. And then they, they went and did that. Claim. Okay, level 8 now. So, guilds unlock a level 10. Okay, so that'll be interesting. I'm curious to see how many guilds are already established, considering the game dropped 30 minutes ago. What's the power difference, though? Squad 713. Okay, let's see if we can handle a hard mode on this. But yeah, no, Last Ultima looks really, really good. I'm actually super excited to make a video on it tomorrow. I think I might end up playing that a lot more too. If it's a if it's a good game and it plays well and isn't predatory, I'll probably put it on the lineup of games to play. So I've even heard of it, Last Ultima. Uh, I need to Google that. Are you going to stream it? Yeah, I'm going to try to stream. Uh, tomorrow, I might. I might be able to, uh, Drake. Uh, check it out. It's called Last Ultima. Um, a L T I. MA by the way, so it's out now. They're doing a 24-hour maintenance on the servers before it launches officially tomorrow. 
So have a look on it before you uh, have a, take a look at it first. See if, see if it's your kind of kind of game. Okay, there's our first one, 15 shards. Okay, so we got a new character there. And that's a Rohan character, I believe, as well, too. So there it goes. Eothane, summon. Uh, Rohan, human, light, tank. So he's a tank user. Uh, we're going to probably level him up. We'll go ahead and do that. We'll equip. We're going to need to probably auto-raid some of this to get some more stuff. Okay, we'll just keep doing, we'll keep doing normal. Go through the storyline. Bring out the ring for all the time must come. So he has the one ring. I have the other ring. Behold, the seal rules brain. Galadriel, what are you doing? In the place of the dark, Lord, I shall be queen, and I shall not be dark, but beautiful. And oh, okay. So she actually takes over the ring. Oh. Oh, they took a different route. That's literally what she says in the story and in the movies. That's that's pretty crazy that they actually added that in there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, what does... Is this only affecting hobbits? Okay, so it is only Hobbit. So I'm going to actually make... I'm going to make her the lead this time because I want to see how the Rohan get affected with 10, 10 crit, okay? So we're going to test this out, see how the new character is. Okay. Uh, no, that's not a bad design. I mean, it's pretty generic, but it's at least looks decent. Yeah, so he's a tank. I'm assuming he's going to be able to take some hits. But he has less health than Strider does right now, which is interesting. Uh, what does that do? That's a taunt, I imagine. Provoke, yeah. Okay, so that's a provoke. Two times all enemies will attack him. That's a good thing for a tank to have, obviously. We definitely want that on our tanks. Okay. So... The, I don't know if you guys noticed the background is actually Rivendell now. It actually is Rivendell. That's kind of cool. Okay, I give him credit for that. They've done a good job capturing that at least. This guy's take way, way longer to kill. Oh, right in the face. Imagine taking an arrow to the face. Hello, what's going on, bro? You're not missing much. The game is, yeah, it's okay. So who's this new new uh, enemy here? Woodland Sentry, Lorraine Scout, Woodland Keeper. Man, these guys actually do some decent damage. Okay. Go. there, but I think an hour of this is enough. Nothing really new here, and we can do something tomorrow instead. Because uh, I gotta get, I gotta run to a meeting in an hour anyway, so I want to prep for that. But uh, much love to you guys. Thank you for jumping on. This doesn't look like it's gonna be a mainstay as I thought it might be. I'll still give it a go for a couple days to see if I like it anymore, and if I if I do enjoy it more, you might see some guides on it. But for now, you're not missing much.